Hello, everyone. Matt Clark, research analyst with Money Markets here with your uh, uh, your weekly Bull and the Bear podcast. Now, again, I want to thank everyone who watches our videos on YouTube and listens to us on our on podcast indicators each and every week. Um, our team takes a lot of pride in providing you with the best analysis of the stock market and the economy. Uh, and if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, or podcast. If you're listening to this uh, on a podcast indicator, make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, so you get notified every time we release a, a new podcast. Also, make sure you head over to moneymarkets.com. Uh, it is your home for safe, sound, smart, simple, profitable investment investment information for your portfolio. And on the site, you can check out our stock power rating system uh, that rates thousands of stocks based on six fundamental and technical metrics. You can create your own watch list, you can track your stock performance and get our in-depth analysis all for free. Now I'm going to lead off uh, with with a little bit uh, something a little different. And I mean that uh, in the vein of Monty Python and, and now for something completely different. Monty Python's Flying Circus uh, aired before I was born, um, but I spent many nights uh, watching the comedy troupe as a kid uh, and, and loved it. I love it to this day. Now, what does all this have to do with this week's podcast? Well, we're going to change things up a little bit. Our proprietary stock power rating system drives so much of what we do here at Money and Markets, uh, and now it's going to be the core uh, of my new weekly podcast. Uh, in this episode of The Bull and the Bear, I'm going to walk through the stock power rating system, how it works. I'm going to tell you about our uh, free email, Stock Power Daily, uh, and offer some analysis of a top rated stock and let you know how all this, what all this means uh, for the future of this podcast. Now, again, we have a great tool available for free on our site at moneyandmarkets.com. It's called the Stock Power Rating System. Chief Investment Strategist Adam O'Dell created this system as a way uh, to rate stocks on a simple zero to 100 scale using three technical metrics, momentum, size, and volatility, and three fundamental metrics, which are value, quality, and growth. Now, the higher the score, uh, the better the stock performs in those metrics. Very simple. Now, in the sample that I'm showing here, uh, you can see Apple Inc., which trades on the, Na on the NASDAQ under AAPL. It scores a 95 on quality. This means the stock is in the top 5% of all stocks we rate on that metric. Our system gives you the rating of thousands of stocks and breaks it down by these metrics to give you a complete look at a potential investment. Now, one stock I currently discussed in our brand new Stock Power Daily email that we send out uh, was Customers Bank Corp Incorporated. It trades on the stock exchange under CUBI. I was attracted uh, to the stock because of the wave of what's called neo banking. This is basically banking uh, that's basically done all in the digital space. Uh, it does everything that a traditional bank does at a branch, only it's all done digitally. Now, while CUBI is a regional bank that does have branches located across the northeastern U.S., it recently launched its own blockchain and digital payment system. It makes it one of the first banks to jump into cryptocurrency banking. Customer, uh, Customers Bank Corps actually hired a team to support commercial cryptocurrency and digital transactions, and most of the team came from the uh, digital asset pioneer Silvergate Capital. Now, using our stock power rating system, we can see that CUBI ranks an 85 overall. And as you can see, we're also strong bullish on the stock and expect it to outperform the broader market by, by at least three times over the next 12 months. Now, looking at our six metric breakdown, we can also see that CUBI rates in the top 10% in both value and growth metrics. Uh, it's 147% annual earnings per share growth rate and 40% annual sales growth rate illustrate its tremendous growth potential. Uh, CUBI trades with a price to earnings ratio of 4.38 compared to the banking sector's uh, relatively inflated average of 10.45. Its price to sales ratio stands at a reasonable 2.16, lower than the 3.2 average of its banking peers. As for the stock, CUBI rose about 110% from May 2021 to January 2022, thanks to its jump into cryptocurrency. Uh, it pared back those gains due to broader market pressure. It really had nothing to do with the stock itself. It was more so with the broader market. Um, but it's still outperforming the broader banking sector, which is actually down 9.6% over the last 12 months. Now, due to those market headwinds, uh, despite those market headwinds, rather, CUBI is still up 22.3% from where it was 12 months ago. Now, let me circle back. How does this all have to do what, the, what does this have to do with our, our, our podcast? Well, I'm really glad you asked, even though you kind of didn't. In the coming weeks, the Bull and the Bear podcast is going to switch to the Stock Power podcast. Um, I, I want to highlight one strong performing stock each week uh, based on our Stock Power rating system. I'm going to do all the work for you each week and give you that one stock on the podcast that's going to beat the market by two to three times in the next 12 months. And this is going to be in addition to the five stocks you already get each and every week in our Stock Power Daily email and on Money and Markets. Uh, we, haven't, so we haven't created a sign up for our Stock Power Daily email, uh, but we are working on that now to where you can actually go to Money and Markets and sign up. 
uh, to receive the stock power daily email, but all the content is already there at moneymarkets.com. So you can check it out uh, anytime you like. I'm really looking forward to this change. And I think it's going to be, uh, it's going to provide a great tool uh, in your investment arsenal now and in the future. Now, let's uh, shift focuses and look back at our YouTube poll question from last week. Last weekend was one of the uh, most watched market events uh, in, in, you know, that happens every year. It's the annual shareholders meeting of Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, mainly, this is because everyone wants to hear what Warren Buffett has to say. However, we wanted to ask how interested you were uh, in the comments made by Buffett. And about 43% of you uh, who voted uh, said the meeting wasn't really on your radar. And while another 42% said you just really want a, a brief summary because it it's an all day affair. Uh, so to listen all day is somewhat challenging. Uh, so some of you, 42% of you said you just want a quick summary of what the Oracle of Omaha had to say. 11% of you said you comb through every single word that Buffett says every single year and good on you. 5% said you used to pay attention to it, but not really right now. Thank you to all who took part in our uh, weekly poll. You can vote in our weekly poll uh, each and every week on our YouTube page. Just uh, head over to YouTube, look for Money in Markets. We've got the Green Bull and the Bear logo. Go to our page, uh, click under the Community tab, and the poll will be right there. If you have a question uh, or have a particular stock or sector that you'd like me or Adam or Charles to take a look at, you can email us. The email address you can reach us at is feedback at moneyandmarkets.com. We'll put that right down below. Love to see uh, your feedback, whether uh, you have a question or maybe you're using Stock Power Daily, right? the Stock Power Ratings system on the website. Tell us how you're doing. Uh, would love to see any of that. If you don't want to email, you can also comment down below on our YouTube channel. Uh, if we, if you do ask us a question and we use it, uh, we're going to send you some very cool money and markets gear. We've got t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts, all sorts of cool stuff. We will send some of that your way. Also head over to moneymarkets.com, sign up for our free daily e-letter uh, that we send out each and every morning. In addition to Stock Power Daily, uh, we give you safe, sound, smart, simple, profitable investment information in all of our content that we have both on the website and what we send out to you as a reader. And while you're at Money Markets, uh, again, check out that proprietary stock power rating system. Uh, you can use our metrics, get the ratings of thousands of stocks out there. Just go to the website, type in your stock uh, in the search bar located in the top right hand side of the website. Uh, you'll be able to see the ratings of the stock. It's broken down by its six metrics, some fundamental data, stock chart. You can even add stocks to your personal hot list on moneymarkets.com. And you can do all that for free. Now that's all for me this week. Got some big changes on the way. Certainly glad you have been, you've been a part of this ride. We look forward to doing even more in our upcoming Stock Power podcast. Until next time, this is Money Markets Research Analyst, Matt Clark, wishing you all safe trading. <laughs>